prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team prepare! <laughs> familiar world where everything is square. Yes, even the main person, which you can choose to be either male or female. I chose a guy because I'm not trying to scam anyone on the internet by sexually confusing them. You can also choose skin tones and I chose the darkest one because... My nigga. <laughs> So now that I, the most important part is over, I can get to the story. And I'm going to warn you, there will be spoilers. You still have a couple of seconds to too late. If you've ever played a game by Telltale Games, like Walking Dead, you know the deal. You could just close this video and get, go get a life, but that's not what I want you to do. You follow a linear story, and by linear I mean you can't really change anything. You get four options in a conversation, but it's still basically like watching a movie. I'm tired so, you and your friends, and a pig named Ruben, live in a tree house and are going to a build competition. You actually get to choose what to build. Unfortunately, there are only three options. So instead of building a 100 to 1 copy of Ruben, I had to build a zombie. Let's build a zombie! I guess that's kind of like a creeper. These guys really want to win in order to meet Gabriel the Warrior, a big legend. I don't know why, but for some reason he has the same name as Tom Grable Warrior, who is front figure in a metal band I really like. <laughs> I have no idea how Minecraft relates to golf metal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon building competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person. John C. Now let me get it straight from the beginning. The pig is your best friend. Whenever there's an argument or a discussion where you can choose, choose the pig. Doesn't matter if it's because your team's name, because of him being threatened as food. Give me back my pig. Or evading fire and flames. The pig is always your most precious thing. I don't know why, but don't question me. One thing that caught me off guard was the fact that you don't jump on space. You frigging pause the game on space. Okay, so during an accident, one of the bad guys from Team Ocelot manages to spread lava all over the place, and indeed, the zombie starts burning. Ruben also starts burning and runs away, like a pig, because he is a pig, and you have to choose if you want to save him or the build. But indeed, the pig is number one priority. After searching through all corners of a forest, you manage to find your pig, but instead you get attacked by monsters and get to fight them. Yes, you can actually fight in this game. Later on, you get rescued by a girl called Petra, and she takes you to her secret cave. How far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen... The thing that frightened me the most was that she wanted to give me a lecture on the power of her fists. I really hope they aren't going anywhere near my bum hole. Luckily, you get interrupted by some monsters and then up flying off a bridge. I don't want to die! By the way, I love the physics in this game. 
Since I'm a physics nerd, I had to pray to Newton and read out this his third law when this happened. Now is where shady things start to happen. Petra is going to have a trade in a shady alley with a super shady guy exchange oh, ultra shady items. Oh, but indeed, the guy scams Petra and you start searching to the whole area. I can't believe that guy At all, while you search you find Ruben who happened to run away. Alright you little maniac, fine! Take him! He's yours. Come on Ruben. You see that shady guy running to Endercom and you manage to slip past the guard by destroying some chicken things. My poultry! My precious poultry! Your eyes closed, they peck at your ah, uh, Now's our chance. Ooh. The shady guy has a dungeon and you follow him. Your precious pig actually finds something, something but there? you get caught off guard and end up fleeing an iron gun. And now, for the first time ever here at Endercon, we are very proud to present the one, the only, John C. So, did you succeed in stopping the guy? If I just fast forward a little bit. Two hours later. I like, look, here's a normal Minecraft Twitter. And this is a story mode with her. Oh, oh, wait, chicken. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, you see, isn't that thing freaking terrifying? Anyways, you run and run and run and finally manage to find your way to the under. Where you get hunted by guests instead. And get to ride a super fun roller coaster together with Ruben. And by the way, the pig jokes are getting real. What? No! You screamed like a piglet. Is who did the piglet like screaming? You eventually find another portal and get to the overworld and find the temple you're looking for. This is also where episode 1 ends. And I'm actually happy to say, I'm looking forward to the other episodes. At this point, I know episode 2 is already out. Uh, probably also 3 at the point when I'm uploading it, this. If I had to give you advice whether you should buy Minecraft Story Mode or not, I'd say go for it if you like more story-like games. I left a lot of things out on purpose in case you still wanna buy the game. I'm not gonna be that guy. But anyways... I need to go do things I don't need to do, so I'm ending the video here. Thanks for watching, and enjoy this game if you buy it. I'm out! Where do these stairs go? They go up! Oh shit, Sherlock.